In the previous video, we learned about certain voice leading principles followed by classical composers that relate to two-part counterpoint. This video covers principles relating to tendency tones. Diatonic tonal music contains two tendency tones, the leading tone, also known as scale degree 7, and chordal sevenths, as in 2-7 or 5-7. The leading tone has a strong tendency to move up to the tonic. Your voice leading should reflect this tendency, hence our first principle. Resolve the leading tone up by step. This requires special attention in minor keys, where the distance between scale degrees 7 and 1 is a whole step instead of a half step. In order to harness the gravitational power of the leading tone in minor, you must raise scale degree 7. Here are examples of progressions with leading tones that resolve according to this principle. In contrast to the leading tone, chordal sevenths have a strong tendency to move down by step. Again, your voice leading should reflect this tendency. Resolve chordal sevenths down by step. In the following progression, F, the chordal seventh of the 5-7 chord, resolves down by step to E. There's one notable exception to this principle, namely when the chordal seventh forms parallel tenths with the bass voice, as in the progression 1-5-4-3-1-6. In cases like this, the chordal seventh may rise by step instead. This progression also illustrates how seventh chords with dominant function contain both the leading tone and a chordal seventh, which gives them an especially strong sense of direction. Many of you will have noticed that most chords expressed thus far contain some kind of doubling, this is because triads contain just three different notes, but chorale style requires four voices. Which notes, then, should we double? In general, any note of a diatonic triad can be doubled, except for the leading tone. If we were to double the leading tone and resolve each up by step, we would create parallel octaves. A doubled leading tone also colors the chord very strongly. The same is true of chordal sevenths. Because sevenths have a tendency to resolve down by step, doubling a seventh leads to parallel octaves. Here's a summary of the main voice leading principles in chorale style.